Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am your host, Locum23, and what is this? Choices! The Freshman, Book 1, Chapter 1. Welcome to Hartfield University. So, to all those who watch the uh, Most Wanted series, just want to let you know that that episode is up and coming, waiting for the key to unlock, because I had to get all the way back in a matter of, uh, what, two days? all the way back to where we were, and then unlock the next chapter. So that's coming out uh, here probably within the next couple hours. But let's get to this! Welcome to Hartford University, one of North America's most elite academic institutes. Ready to choose your look? Oh, well. Um, tough one. All white, nah. I kind of like hers. Hers is more natural. Hers is... eh, I mean, don't get me wrong, hers is alright. Kinda anime style, hers is a bit eccentric. Um... Hers to me... Eh, it's either one of these two. I'm gonna just go with this one. Oh boy, choose your hair! Well, shit. Um... Kinda like in the long. Short's kinda nice. I don't... I'm not a blonde. Sorry, guys. Not a huge blonde, uh... Or gals. Fan, redhead, duh, but... I see enough red hair in my life already. Choose your outfit! This is... Of course, the, the style for today. I am more of a... Eh, we'll go with this. My look is totally... Perfect. Sure. It's the first day of college, and you walk across a bustling campus. Ugh, the suitcase weighs a thousand pounds. Maybe I shouldn't have brought so much. As you round a corner, you smack right into a guy jogging by. Whoa! You're both knocked off your feet. I'm sorry, are you okay? My ego's a little bruised. The other guys on the football team saw me get tackled by a pretty girl. They never let me forget it. He offers you a hand and helps you up. My name's Chris, by the way. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I'm... Eh... I don't know. Um... We'll go with, actually, my druid for a while. Mizumi. Mizumi, for some reason, that rings a bell. So are you okay? Nothing broken, I hope. I'm fine. My hand is just a little scraped up. Is there anything I can do to make it up to you? Tutorial. You've just met your first potential love interest. You'll meet more later. For now, it's up to you how to respond. You know, um... Be great if they did a guy scenario. Well, you could help me with my back, kiss my hand and make it better. <laughs> Get on your knees and beg for forgiveness. I'm gonna go with help me with my bag. Chris looks down your bag, which was... Whoa, your stuff is everywhere. Chris picks up the lazy black bra, then his face goes bright red. Uh, wow, I, did, I didn't mean to... Uh, is this yours? Grab your bra out of his hands and stuff it back in your suitcase. I think that's enough help for one day. Chris, there you are. Don't forget about the Kappa House mixture tonight. Uh, Becca, hey, I'd love to go, but I promised my roommates I'd hang out with them. Too bad. I promise you'd have a better time with me. Uh, we're kind of in the middle of a conversation. Hey, it looked like you were just leaving. Wow. Actually, just then Becca drops her iced coffee at your feet, splashing it all over you. Seriously? Oops, I'm so clumsy. Mizumi, your outfit. I'll go f find some napkins. As soon as he's gone, Becca leans in close. Just so you know, Chris is mine. Oh, he's your boyfriend? Not yet, but he will be. Oh yeah? I could care less about your love life. Here's Flash. I could care less about your love life. Really, I could. Good. Then stay out of my way and we'll be fine. Chris runs up with a stack of napkin, paper napkins. This is the best I could do. 
a good start. I'll just find my dorm and change. See you around, okay? You can count on it. A few minutes later, this looks like the place. You knock on the door, which swings open to reveal. Wow. This place is huge. Ah, new roomie. You're finally here and covered in coffee. Have you heard? It's the hottest look for full. Oh, yeah. Definitely pulling it off. Seriously, you're super pretty. Thanks. Um. I am super. No, that's pretentious and I hate that. You're super hot. I can tell we're gonna get along. I can tell we're gonna get along. Yay, roomies! Catelyn puts you in a tight hug. Oops, forgot about the coffee. Sorry, I should probably change. Sure, I'll show you to your room. Caitlin leads you through the suit. Wait, do we have this whole place to ourselves? Ha, I wish. In case you hadn't heard, the school's in a housing crunch. This is a six-person suite. We'll be sharing this place with one other girl and three guys. That's... awesome? Horrible. Sexy. Eh. Not so much that. Awesome or horrible? Um... I guess awesome for social interaction? Horrible if it was me, so... I guess awesome. That's great! It'll be like having five best friends right off the bat. Just friends? They say the number one rule of freshman year is not to hook up with your roommates. But I don't play them by the rules. I'll keep that in mind. Interesting. Uh, here's your room. Hurry up and change. We can hit the Welcome Week Fair. Oh, I almost forgot. Every year, they set up a massive slip and slide in the middle of the fair. It looks super fun, and it's a great excuse to wear a bikini. So, are you going to do it? Definitely! You only have one chance to make a first impression. Sliding through the quad in a sexy swimsuit is a great way to make an entrance. I'm gonna go change. Be back in a second, okay? Tutorial. Yes, we know all about the diamonds. Kiss my ass. I don't know how to earn any more because I've already went back through the most wanted one and I have yet to earn a diamond. So, um, I would love that outfit. This looks like I'm going to be a goddamn hostess or a waitress. I, these at least don't wear or cost anything. This would have been a, a eh impression, would have been better off with the black, but I'm just gonna go with that. I think it's a good excuse. Oh, you're still wearing the same thing. I'm not gonna change. The truth is, is that awful girl named Becca threw her, oh, the coffee's still on it. Oops. Um, five seconds for the meeting me. Yikes. I'm sorry, Mizumi. Don't be. I'm not, and now I'll wear this stain as a badge of honor. I think people will assume you spilled on yourself, though. Well, I'll know the truth, and that's what counts. You're an inspiration to us all. Now let's go check out that slip and slide. I'll let you do the sliding for both of us today, okay? I, I didn't know I was going to keep the stain on there. Should. Yeah, damn. Outside, you find dozens of people manning booths for various organizations. Onlookers cheer as freshmen coast down the slide. Here goes nothing! Caitlin gets a running start, jumps on the southern side. The crowd goes wild! Whoa! I'm loving that confidence! Marry me. <laughs> she jogs back to you. Okay, I have to admit, that looked pretty cool. Thanks, and don't worry, you'll have plenty of chances to impress people around her. After Caitlin dries off, the two of you check out the booths at the fair. Let's see here. A capella? Nah, I can't sing. Student government? Nah, I don't care. Just then you spot a familiar face at the Kappa Psi Sigma booth. Becca? Zumi! Could you not stand so close to our tent? We don't want people thinking Kappa C Sigma would associate with someone like you. Oh wow, Mizumi! Is this girl serious? Unfortunately. Time to move along. Yeah, we're not exactly looking for pledges who are covered in coffee. 
That is coffee, right? The only reason I'm covered in coffee is because Becca threw it on me. Sounds like you need to ask yourself why people want to throw coffee at you, Mizumi. Oh my god. Why I... Ugh, never mind. Let's get out of here, Caitlin. That's what I thought. Bye bye Becca smirks at you and sips an iced coffee through a straw. I see you got a new coffee, Becca. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's just some times. Um, I'm gonna go take Iron. Are you just gonna stand there looking depressed? I'll stand wherever I want. Becca takes a long sip of her coffee. Oh, I should have spilled it on your ass. Okay, I'm hoping that by not spilling it on her, someone will notice and be like, hey, I saw it. Okay, fine, I'm going. But only because I want to. As you leave, Caitlin flashes you with a grimace. A couple of Chanel shirts, skirts, and they'd be better than us. Or they're better than us. Are they wrong? Of course they're wrong. But don't worry. We'll have our revenge. We will? I don't know. I was just being dramatic. Ah, gotcha. As you prepare to head back to your dorm, you look across the quad. See something you like? You mean that guy? Uh, he's not my type. He's telling me that. I don't know, he kind of... Alright, alright, I have to be open mind. He's not my type. He's totally my type. If it's got a pulse, I'm interested. I'm gonna go with... He's totally my type. I guess we'll go with that. We'll try. This day keeps getting better and better. This guy looks over at you. Figuring the way he's dressed, he might be a professor, but I could be wrong. I don't think he noticed me. Maybe I should have worn a different outfit. A moment later, the guy walks into a nearby building and disappears from view. Hey, it's getting dark, and I just got a text from my roommates. They're all home. Sounds like it's time to head back to the suit. Sweet. As the sun sets, you walk into the dorm living room and find a girl standing in front of you in a painter's easel. Hey, you must be Mizumi. I'm Abby. You reach forward to shake her hand. Ah, careful! I'm covered in paint, and I don't want to ruin your outfit. Er, any more than it's already been ruined with coffee, I guess. Oh, you're an artist! What gave it away? Um, wow, no. I'm long way away from calling myself an artist. I guess I'm a girl that paints, which is technically the same. Anyway, the guys are all up on the roof. I'll catch you up on later. No way, you're coming with us! Abby, you can finish your painting later. I guess I'm close to done. What do you think, Mizumi? Give me a second to fully appreciate your work. Oh, wow! It's actually well done. I like the little dragon there. It looks like fairies. That's in a Tinkerbell. Wow. So what's your review, Mizumi? It looks amazing, Abby. I was just wondering... Where'd you learn to paint like that? Or are you the girl in the painting? <sighs> Kinda looked like it, but... Are you the girl in the painting, I'm gonna ask. Abby blushes and looks at the floor. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I've heard it's impossible to keep yourself out of your work, and I definitely... I am definitely in the super in a fan fairy tales. Oh, that's adorable. So it's a sort of a self-portrait of the artist as a young girl plus fairy tale creatures. Sorta, of, yeah. So now are you ready to come with us to the roof, Abby? Sure, but only if I get to pick the music. Your wish is my command. Now let's go. You and the girls head up the stairs. Nice! We've got an amazing view. Ready to meet the guys? This is... Actually, we've already met. Chris? You're my roommate? Oh, and apparently we've already completed that. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, we will have to wait, however. Because as you can see here... Oh! We have a key and the most wanted! So, hey! Tune in for that. Um, we are on chapter 11 of 15... 
we'll be able to unlock that four more chapters and we're done with this until they do a book two um, like I said, there is the fantasy coming, which is so stellar. I'm writing for that. I can't wait for that. And um, and then right now we are going to start this new series here, um, probably tomorrow for chapters at uh, about three to four hours a key. So either tomorrow or Monday at the latest, another episode of this will be unlocked. So I hope you guys really have enjoyed. Feel free to like, comment, and uh, share especially. And if you're not already subscribed, feel free to. And until next time, guys, live long and prosper.